We have clients around the world and so we really do have an international view not only on intellectual property but also on a client's business interest. We are a global company in a way and we need to address that need for IP protection. There's always something lost in a translation. Working with English speaking people and knowing all the terms, the details, and I think actually the patent will turn out differently. Being a medical doctor, having worked for 13 years, uh, and also an inventor by uh, personality really, uh, I saw the need for a disconnection mechanism when working in confined spaces to disconnect the hub from a syringe. Therefore, we have developed a lure jack, uh, which is basically a disconnection device, uh, which can also be screw-fitted onto a needle like this and really disconnected with one hand without touching the critical parts. Mm. Uh, well, then Christian, he called uh, one day, he had a great idea, and uh, two weeks after that we had decided to, um, to join the adventure of uh, creating Conceptomed and Lurijack. So uh, we became co-creators of the company and uh, the developing partner. Simple ideas need oh, thorough patenting. Yeah. And it felt very natural to search for an English-speaking patent attorney, which were already present on the international scene. I'd say that the majority of our clients are international. I find myself on a daily basis dealing with clients in different time zones, whether it's a Norwegian startup company like Conceptomed, or a multinational corporate client who's interested in opposing a competitor's European patent. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Tom. Good morning, Christian. How are you doing over there? Yeah. And we find that having a video conference call can be just as good as being in the room with our clients. We still like to try and meet our clients face to face when we can and get to know them better. But when that's not feasible and not justified in terms of cost, then we find ways to work around it. So could you just put it in slow motion? Absolutely, no problem. By collaborating with a British patent attorney, we early got the understanding that these professionals have double master's degrees. More than once, I've been really, really flabbergasted almost by their insight and foresight because they actually see how to make this survive in the future. Doing all, all the IP work in English is really, um, of course it's for us not natural. Uh, our English is not, not that bad, but uh, in terms of uh, securing the, um, the value for the company, and starting the whole process in English as kind of a native language I think is a big asset to the whole process. For most companies it is a goal to break into the US market and in that case often to have a US patent as well. So having already written the patent application in English we know that it's going to turn into a robust US patent. A UK patent grants more quickly than in many other countries and that's also an advantage. So that's uh, a strategy which we will uh, continue to follow.